Thanks for joining us at MOPA for a look at vantage points in photography. A vantage point refers to where the photographer stands in relation to the subject. But why are vantage points important? Well, we're used to photographing from eye level because it's the way we see the world. However, that doesn't always make for an interesting image. By using compelling vantage points, we can highlight details, tell a story, or show a fresh perspective. Let's take a look at images from OPA's permanent collection to see some great examples of bird's eye, worm's eye, long shot, and close up. A bird's eye view takes us up above it all. It can help survey a location, reveal patterns across a scene, or show a familiar object in new ways. In this photograph by Byron Wolf, the perspective shows us a father sharing a quiet moment with his son. A worm's eye view can transform any subject to feel larger than life. Whether it's getting low to the ground or simply remembering to look up, a worm's eye view can emphasize scale. In this image by Lou Stuman, the trunks of towering palm trees lead our eye up through the scene to their canopy, which creates a silhouette against an overcast sky. A close-up reveals a world of details. It can show us new aspects of something that often go unnoticed, and it can create an intimacy between the subject and the viewer. In this photograph by Mark Klett, a familiar childhood toy horse gains a new layer of meaning. The close perspective, paired with a shallow depth of field, draws attention to the hand-drawn rows on the horse. A long shot is about taking it all in. With no immediate focal point close to the camera, it invites the viewer's eyes to sweep around the scene. In this photograph by John Britton Hogan, our eyes wander left to right following the horizontal lines of the benches. Farther away, the golden light illuminating the mountain range draws our eye back through the frame. So how would these vantage points play out in our own photographs? Let's take a look at an iconic landmark here in Balboa Park, the Botanical Gardens, and photograph it through these four different points of view. From up here, a bird's eye view gives our subject context, showing it within a particular setting. From below, as we approach the building, we can get a long shot. By centering it in the frame and facing straight on, the symmetry of its architecture shines. Stepping inside and looking up, a worm's eye view reveals a new perspective on the structure. It can highlight patterns or creatively frame positive and negative space. Finally, a close-up shot is all about details. You can hone in on aspects like the texture and color of plants and explore the play of light within the building. Want to see more? Check out mopa.org learn.